Hey guys, it is Mr. Dave with the Ray Kitty Creation Workshop, and you are watching the Ray Kitty Science Project. Thank you for joining us. We're excited to do some science today. We're going to be doing a little bit of stuff with polymers. Now, if you are in middle school, early high school, as soon as I say polymers, the first thing you're going to think of is slime. Of course it's slime, uh, and so we will, yes, be doing some slime. So we will be making some slime today, and then we're going to kind of step it up a little bit with some gastronomy and do some little fancier things with polymers uh, and kind of experiment how they work and, and see how uh, we can use them in our everyday lives and how we can kind of use them to uh, advance taking care of ourselves and maybe or even our planet a little bit. So we will be talking about polymers. And when I say polymer, uh, it, it is kind of two words there, poly, which is more than one, right? And then mer, which is the sound that my cat makes. So my cat is a polymer, right? Because my cat goes mer. No, 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 that's not what we're talking about. A polymer is more than one chains uh, that are bound together or cross-linked together, okay? So when you have these chains in chemistry or in these molecules, uh, these chains are able to float along pretty easily, but when you link them together like this, I've got a piece of rope here, and we're going to use our imagination, okay? Imagination. you, you got to say it. So we're going to use our imagination, and I've got this rope, and these, this rope we're going to imagine is a chain uh, of one of our molecules, okay? So uh, this is a chain in this instance here. We'll say this is like a calcium chain, okay? So these are those calcium ions, and they're all bound together, uh, and if we have several of them, we can still move them very freely uh, because uh, those chains aren't really linked to anything, right? Uh, we just have those chains and, and they move around very easily, okay? So when we create a polymer, what we're going to do is we're actually going to uh, temporarily uh, or sometimes off and on, it really just depends on the polymer, but we're going to break down those chains and then we're going to do something called cross-link them. So when we cross-link those chains, we're taking those chains and tying them together, okay? Uh, so those two chains have now become one polymer, okay? So now, uh, just like when you see a chain-link fence, you know, that's keeping in that big old dog that keeps trying to attack you when you're on your run, uh, this polymer is now harder to move, but it still has some flex to it, and it depends on the polymer on how often it is cross-linked. So if it's cross-linked a whole lot of times, you get a nice tight polymer. Uh, some of your epoxies and things like that are a nice tight polymer, and that polymer uh, has a real hard time moving around. So we go, we've gone from something that is very fluid, uh, very liquid, uh, into something that has a hard time moving around and is bound very tightly. Now, a polymer can be broken down by different chemicals, um, and it can be used in different ways, and we're going to be doing it in just some fun ways, but I want you to kind of picture this when we have our chemicals and when we are breaking them down and rebuilding them into a new polymer, okay? Uh, so this is these are our chains, and I'm going to get these out of the way here uh, so I don't end up knocking them over and using them to pull something and, and make a big old mess over here. Okay, so we will start out with <clears throat> that slime, okay? Because slime is what uh, you all want to make. You want to make a big old mess of slime in your house. Now, uh, using this one here, this one, if I want on our cleanability scale, uh, this one is probably up to maybe a three, okay? Uh, there is some white glue involved, uh, and so anytime you have that white glue, um, as in contrast to when we did the oobleck, uh, where that oobleck just dried up and, and it'll vacuum right away out of whatever, this white glue dries into a polymer, okay? Uh, so that polymer is kind of sticky if you get it in the carpet. Um, I got a little bit in my hair, and this is where I'm at now. So uh, you do want to just be careful with that cleanup. You want to try and not get it into mom's car seat. Uh, you want to keep this into a bag if you're, if you're not using it, okay? So on a cleanup ability scale, we're going to give this one about a three. It's not hugely messy um, unless, of course, you are adding maybe food coloring, uh, which I'm not going to do here. 
um, or you're adding glitter, which I am definitely not going to do here, uh, because glitter is, is, a, is a terrible, beautiful mess, uh, which I both love and detest at the same time. So we're going to start out by making our slime, uh, and then we're going to step over to this one here. But before we even begin our slime, I have to do one little step over here because I'm going to need uh, to let this one slake just a little bit to let kind of the bubbles out. So we're going to bring this one over here, and I'm going to do one of the steps in our later project, uh, but we're going to start this step, and I'll show you why in just a second. We're going to be uh, just mixing this, uh, and we are going to be putting some of this stuff in here. This is sodium alginate, okay, or alginate, really depending on who you ask. Uh, but we are going to put about a quarter of a teaspoon of sodium alginate in here. Now, the reason we're going to do this and then let it set uh, is because it bubbles up. And we don't want a whole lot of bubbles when we do our, our project there. So I've got my sodium alginate, and I'm going to put it in here. Now, it is soluble, and we'll talk about solubility. Um, solubility means it can dissolve in water, okay? This can dissolve in water, but the reason I have the blender is it takes forever, okay? So if you do it in a blender, uh, it's a lot easier. Now, this sodium alginate is something that you can purchase um, at a health food store or on the internet. Uh, so I'm going to mix this up. We're going to hear a little bit of sound from this blender real quick. There you go. Now, we can see as we're mixing that up, we still have some of those clumps in there, so we want to get rid of those clumps. Uh, so we're mixing up our sodium alginate. But as we're doing it, it's also introducing a lot of air into that mixture. So we want to have time for that air, uh, those little bubbles to be able to come out of there. It looks like we're pretty mixed. I'm going to give it one more. Here we go. And, and just because I kind of think that's fun. Okay, so we have our mixture here. You can see there's not a whole lot of those little chunks in there. We still have those bubbles. I'm going to go ahead and pour this out of here. Uh, and I am going to pour it into uh, this little cup here. So we've got our sodium alginate a mixture, which we're going to use later, but I wanted to make it now because as you can see, it's that white cloudy look to it. We want those clouds are not actually the sodium alginate. It's actually bubbles. And so we want all those little bitty bubbles, uh, which <clears throat> little bitty is a scientific term, if you recall, uh, meaning it's not an actual measurement. So we're going to let these bubbles set while we do our slime. Okay, so we started with our sodium alginate and we'll get back to that one in a minute. Okay, <clears throat> back to the slime. Now, the slime that I'm going to make here uh, is uh, probably my favorite. Now, if you've ever been in a science classroom or uh, been in any environment where they have, uh, we're teaching STEM or we're teaching science, you always have slime. So, I have made probably I don't know how many gallons of slime. Uh, and this one here is probably my favorite. It's one of the least sticky slimes, uh, and it is um, one of the most kind of fluffy slimes. So we're going to make this slime here. Uh, our ingredients that we have are white glue, OK? Uh, we have shaving cream, OK, which is uh, how you get this nice shiny dome here uh, right before you, you come to the studio. Uh, and we have baking soda. And we are going to be using, for this one, we're going to be using uh, that contact cleaner or that contact solution, okay? So for our mixture, I have one cup. We are going to use one cup of white glue. This is going to make a pretty decent amount of slime. Uh, and when you're doing this, you can, as I said, you can put some of that, that food coloring in there and give it that nice color. I don't like doing that because I like to keep my hands the color they are. Um, or you can put glitter in there. I do like to put beads, um, different types of beads. We are serious crafters around our house, so we always have beads of some sort. Uh, and so I like to put beads in, in the slime. Uh, so I'm pouring out, I'm going to give, give us one cup of this white glue. Now, the thing that white glue has in it uh, that makes for such wonderful slime uh, is polyvinyl alcohol, okay? Now, PVA, remember we talked about that poly is more than one, um, so it is 
uh, a mixture or a, com or a uh, combination of those vinyls. Uh, and so when we mix them together, we are going to have a nice bunch of chains that we're going to break down and turn into our slime, okay? So I'm going to take this one here. I'm going to put this on a napkin because I will always have that white glue dripping over. So we have our white glue, okay? Uh, so we have one cup of white glue. Now, if you're worried about the stoichiometry, right, which is that changing the ratio of things, um, we are doing one cup, one cup of the uh, shaving cream. We are doing one teaspoon of the, or I'm sorry, yeah, one teaspoon of the baking soda and two tablespoons of the, um, I, or the uh, contact solution. So you can change that up depending on how you want to do it. I'm going to put the whip, the shaving cream in here. This one's fun because it's shaving cream. Yay, shaving cream. So I'm going to put plenty of shaving cream in here. This is what gives it that nice fluff to it. Now, how do you measure out a cup of shaving cream? I have no idea. Yeah, because it continues to expand. So we are going to ploop that in there. Ploop is the scientific term for how we are going to dump that in there. So now we have a nice um, menthol-y smelling uh, soothing aloe uh, slime that we're making. Okay, so we have one to one on the shaving cream and the glue. We're now going to mix in our baking soda. Uh, so I am going to put in one I think I said it backwards. We're gonna put in one tablespoon of the baking soda. Now, <clears throat> when you're doing this, okay, uh, the part that is gonna break things down is going to be our contact solution. This is kind of the magical component to our slime here. So if you're making this at home, you wanna start this if you're gonna put your uh, beads in there, if you're gonna put your food coloring, all those kind of things, you want to start stirring this up now, uh, and you want to start mixing this because as soon as you put that, uh, that contact solution in there, then it is going to start uh, solidifying and turning into slime. So give it a little bit of mix now uh, so you can get kind of just that, that stuff all around in your bowl, in your beaker, in your cup, whatever it is that you have. Uh, so we're going to mix this stuff up, and I've got a pretty good mix there. So with my contact solution, I'm gonna add a little bit and then I am going to stir it and then I'm gonna add a little bit and I'm gonna stir it. We're gonna continue stirring it in this container here uh, instead of just pulling it out and getting it all over our hands. So I'm going to put some of this contact solution. I am going to put a total of two teaspoons. Uh, so I've got one teaspoon here. I'm gonna put a little bit in there. This is what is breaking those chains and then allowing them to rebuild. It has, the contact solution has something called boric acid in it. Now, when you make slime, sometimes you'll use borax, right? They have that borax slime. Um, one of the problems with borax is if you get a, a lot of it and you get it in your eyes or you get it in, uh, a, you end up inhaling a bunch of it, it's not great for you. Uh, so it, this is just a little bit safer method of having that access to the boric acid. So uh, as you can see now, I'm already kind of getting that goopy slime to it, uh, and that is just after one of those uh, tea, or, yeah, teaspoons, of, or tablespoons, teaspoons, uh, teaspoons of the boric acid. So we're going to put another one in there. Uh, remember, it takes two. Now, this is the part of the stoichiometry that is up to your uh, discretion, okay? If you want to end up adding a little bit more of this as contact solution, you can have a little more solid slime. Uh, if you want to add a little bit less, you will have a little bit looser slime. Uh, but what we see here is we are getting this nice floofy slime uh, from our contact solution. So this is the one you wanna wait, you wanna put it in last uh, because now I have got uh, what is kinda like a soothing aloe smelling marshmallow mix here. So this slime that we're messing with uh, is not too, too sticky. Uh, the more, if it is, I'm getting a little bit of that sticky there, but you can see it's kind of coming right off. Um, the amount of that contact solution is going to change the stickiness. If you want it less sticky, if you want it uh, more, like I say, slimy, you're going to change this here, okay? So we've got our slime, this beautiful, wonderful slime that will make a a uh, terrible mess in whatever. You can color it. You can uh, put those beads in there. I, if it were me, and I were doing this at home, uh, I would put, 
probably maybe a, a two handfuls of two different colored beads in here. Uh, and then you've got like a wonderful Christmas uh, or spring, if you have those nice green ones, uh, beads to your slime. So this beautiful, wonderful, fluffy, uh, great smelling slime uh, is actually a polymer, right? Because we broke down those chains. And then when we put them back together, we get this ooey, gooey slime, right? Now, as you can see, uh, when I'm peeling this here, this one here, uh, it's a little sticky, but I can roll it right off my hands. It's not too bad as far as that cleanability scale. We can get this stuff off pretty easy. So that's one of the reasons that this is one of my favorite slimes is it's so fluffy. Uh, it smells great, and it's really pretty easy to clean up. So this is our slime. This is our first polymer uh, that we have made. Uh, as I continue to kind of stir it up here, it's getting even more of just a lump of slime. Um, if you're doing it at home, take your time, stir it for maybe 10 minutes uh, before you pull it all out of there, and you will have a nice, nice, wonderful, uh, sometimes they call this one cloud slime because uh, it's, it's nice and fluffy, okay? So our first polymer is slime. So it went from these nice, beautiful liquids uh, into what is a semi-solid. Uh, this slime here is a combination of those chains. So when we break those chains and we put them together, we get this wonderfully sticky, uh, ooh, I've been slimed slime, okay? So this is our first polymer. I'm going to clean it off my fingers. As you can see, it comes off very easily. Uh, one of the reasons I really like this one is <laughs> you're not fighting it for hours trying to get it off of you. So uh, I've got that slime off of me. I, I love this one here. Um, and if you end up making your slime, uh, if you're watching this on the internet uh, and you make your slime, send me some pictures of your slime. See if there's any way that you like to change it. Uh, see what you like to add to your slime because this is the perfect slime. All right, there you go. So we have our slime. You can even do that. Look, I can serve it to you kind of like it was uh, something from Dairy Queen. All right, so we have our slime, and that was a polymer. We changed those chains, okay? Uh, and that is called cloud slime. Once again, the ingredients, you have your um, contact solution, baking soda, shaving cream, and white glue, okay? Now, uh, as we're Coming over to this next one here, you can also use different color glue. Uh, they have some fun different color glues, some specifically for slime uh, at different stores that, you know, that you'll go to or on the internet. So you can use some of those slimes too. Now, we're going to go a different direction uh, and we are now going to uh, mess with our sodium alginate, right? This was the stuff that we mixed in our blender a little bit earlier. And we have here, our calcium lactate, okay? Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, maybe you are one of those crazy people that like those yucky little things at the bottom of your drink, right? Those <laughs> boba. Yeah, I am not a boba lover. I'm sorry if you love bobas. Uh, I am not a boba person. Uh, my daughters, my wife, they all love boba. Not me, not me. Uh, but this is kind of that same principle as boba, but you can do some crazy stuff with it. Okay, uh, we are going to make a polymer. This one, remember it took, a, it took a while to mix that together to make that slime. The difference with our mixture here is this one happens almost instantly, okay? So we are going to put our calcium lactate. Uh, I put a total of a quarter of a teaspoon of our sodium alginate in, and that's what I mixed in the blender. Uh, and we have our calcium lactate and I'm gonna put a pretty heavy, uh, kind of a heavy teaspoon in here, so quite a bit there. Uh, and we're gonna put this into four cups of water, okay? So I have four cups of water that I put this one in. Now this one mixes very easily. We don't have to use the blender, uh, none of those things. We can mix this one in very easily. Now they are both water soluble, but this one uh, is just a lot easier to mix and, and, it, and it happens a lot faster, okay? So when we mix this one here, we can see I've still got some chunks there. I'm gonna stir it for just a little bit while I explain what's going on. Now we have two different mixtures here. 
Uh, and we are going to combine them. And we're going to combine them in a couple different ways. Uh, so you can kind of see, <laughs> this, this, is, this is a fun one. Uh, but so you can kind of see one of the ways that they're, they're working on or working toward making an edible water bottle. Okay, uh, now an edible water bottle sounds like a wonderful idea. I do have to warn you, just because something's edible does not mean it's yummy. Okay, uh, I will be eating one. I will not be enjoying it. <laughs> I will be doing it just for the science of it. Uh, so I've already mixed that calcium lactate in. You can see that that mixed in real easily there. Okay, uh, so I'm going to grab my spoon that I dropped. Nobody's hot. Uh, what we're going to do is we are going to start off with this little syringe here. Uh, and I am going to get some of my uh, sodium alginate, okay? Now remember, a polymer is when we put these together, these ions are going to be able to kind of hold hands uh, with the ions of our alginate. So our calcium and our alginate uh, ions are going to form a bond. And they're going to do it in this one here, okay? So I have some of this in here. If you are doing this, if you're doing this one at home, these are things you can buy again at the health food store. They're not expensive. And this will go a long, long way. So uh, what I'm going to try and do is get a steady stream into our water here or into our calcium uh, mixture here, okay? So I'm going to put a stream of this stuff in here. Ready? And... Yay, isn't that exciting? We see, like, nothing, okay? Now, it's not really true that there's nothing happening there because if I were to reach in here, you would see, remember I said that this one bonds almost instantly. We actually have these beautiful, yucky, not looking worms uh, that have come from our uh, alginate when it hits this, uh, calcium water. So in the calcium, we have we actually have uh, these little worms, and there are a bunch of them in there. Uh, so as soon as this hits uh, our calcium, that bond happens very quickly. It's not a slow mix like happens with our um, with our slime. This one happens almost instantly. These are pretty solid. Now what's fun about these is they're actually uh, not because it happens so quickly, it's not solid all the way through. These are actually still filled with this water, okay? Uh, now, calcium alginate, uh, our calcium and our alginate are both things that are edible, okay? Uh, they're actually things that they use in food all the time. So we're going to do something a little bit different with it. And I'm going to get our spoon, and this is that edible water bottle thing, okay? Now, it's not gonna be the size of a water bottle, it's not gonna be the shape of a water bottle, it's, it's much, much nastier than that. Uh, we are going to, uh, instead of having that nice stream that we did that made our worms, uh, I still see plenty of worms in that water. There you go, look at that. Ew. So, <laughs> now we have all of this uh, yucky worms. I'm gonna get those worms out of there uh, so I don't end up eating all of those snot worms there. Now, can you eat those? Yep. Okay, uh, no, really they're not too bad, uh, but they're not great either. So uh, the, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just change the shape. So we're gonna do the same procedure, uh, except instead of uh, putting our alginate in in a stream, I'm gonna put it in this little spoon here and I'm going to try, okay, I'm going to try uh, to release it into some of, somewhat of a ball, okay? So we have our alginate here uh, and we have our calcium and I'm going to try, whoop, to just release it in a ball in there. Now, on the, on the camera there, you may not be able to even see it floating around in there. Uh, it's very clear. Uh, I'm gonna make a couple of them. Um, it's very clear. <laughs> it's very yucky. Uh, it's almost like a jellyfish, okay? Uh, you know how when you see a jellyfish in the water on TV or whatever, uh, you kind of see, you're, you're like, yes, I see it, but do I really see it? The same thing is happening here. Now, what happened is that is already formed on the outside, but because it happens so quickly, uh, it doesn't allow it to form on the inside, okay? So the inside of this ball uh, is still 
a liquid form. Now, you can drink this liquid, okay? Uh, and so our water bottle is actually going to be filled with our uh, calcium lactate, okay? So calcium lactate is flavorless. By flavorless means uh, it's not yummy, uh, but there's not a lot of taste there. So what we're going to do uh, is I am going to attempt now to fish one of these out of here. We'll see how it goes. Um, and let's see. Now in this, you could probably not really see anything. Maybe you can see like the uh, almost illusion of something floating in that water. But when we pull this out, I'm gonna put this plate up here so you can see it. Uh, when we pull this out, I'm going to try to rinse them off uh, because that'll stop the reaction. So I'm gonna rinse them in just regular water, okay? Uh, and then I'm going to put them on our plate. Now, I've got a little one there. I didn't really get too much of a ball, so let me try again. I've got one here. It's just a matter of whether I can catch it. Oh, there we go. That's disgusting. So we have one here. I'm going to rinse it in the water, okay? Uh, and then I am going to attempt to fish it back out of here without popping a hole in it. Our water bottle, let's see if I can get it out of there. There we go. Um, <laughs> So this little slime ball right here, uh, they're actually working on creating an edible water bottle. This is actually full of that water and you can, <laughs> you can eat it and it's full, it's just water. It tastes like water with a nasty shell of water, yeah. So these water bottles here, uh, there's something they're working on, they're not into full production yet, uh, but they're working on making water bottles out of things like these uh, polymers uh, because, one, you can eat the whole thing, even though it's disgusting. Well, it's weird because it's slimy, like your brain says it's disgusting, but there's not a lot of flavor there. Uh, but the, the benefit of it is it's completely biodegradable. Uh, it goes away. Uh, you can eat the whole thing, so you can use the whole thing. Um, your calcium uh, is actually something that your body needs or that your body can use. So this polymer here is something uh, that you can use to um, save the world. So one day, one of you guys can use this kind of polymer and develop these things into something wonderful uh, instead of just using it as a science snot. Okay. All right. So what we did here was we did polymers today. We broke those chains and we cross linked them together. Okay. We made our slime. Our ingredients were white glue, uh, shaving cream, uh, contact solution, and baking soda. Uh, our ingredients here for our edible water bottle and these fun slimy worms uh, is calcium lactate uh, and uh, sodium alginate, both of which you can purchase at a health food store. Um, that is it for our polymers. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you to Catharsis Media for uh, doing a wonderful job putting all of this stuff together. Uh, we appreciate you guys. Uh, I am Mr. Dave, and thank you for watching the Ray Kitty Science Project. Have a great week.